I've turned the computer on for the first time. I have not touched any uh, key and it loaded straight to this screen. So we'll do a control alt delete. Okay, so we want to go into the peripherals, up into SATA configuration, and we want to change SATA type, or excuse me, on chip SATA type to RAID, and we'll leave the on chip SATA port 4 through 7 type as, as SATA type. So we'll hit escape. Alright, and now I want to go into the BIOS feature and change the hard drive priority so that we are booting from disk 1 and I'm going to disable all other disks for booting because this RAID drive is going to be storage only. Uh, disk 7, P7 as it's listed here, will be the operating system. And you can see here that under boot option number one, it's by default again that P7. Press the F10. Save configuration and exit. Yes. And so we want to do control R real quick. Um, we are entering into the configuration. It looks like um, by default it's selected all of the drives and turned it into one large array. So since all of the drives are blank, I'm just going to delete the arrays. I press the A for all, and then the enter for done. Yes, I want to continue. Okay, so uh, we've deleted the initial array. So we're going to create a new array. And we're just going to select each one of these individually. Alright, so we can see this 0 through 5 are selected. So we'll press enter. We're going to do RAID 5. And by default, it wants to make it a 2 terabit limit. So we're going to page up. Hit escape to allow for larger arrays. And continue to page up. Alright, all available space. Uh, we will press enter, read write, and C to confirm. Alright, and then I'm going to create an array for this. Pressing A for all. It'll be a volume, uh, all available space. Read write, C to confirm. Alright, and then I want to select all, press enter. And so now our volume is first, our RAID 5 is second. I will do this continue to boot. Uh, all of these settings are correct for this first initial screen. We'll install now. Okay, so I'm going to put in the key and uh, hit next, and we'll see you after the next. Okay, now for the gigabyte uh, motherboards here, we're going to need to load a loaded driver. Uh, now I'm running this installation off of a USB key, which makes this really simple. The drivers are on the OS, uh, or the drivers are on the disk from Gigabyte. I just copied the driver folder uh, onto that drive. Go ahead and do next. And great, so it found both of them. Uh, as you can see here, it's showing one drive unallocated space at uh, 931 gigs. And drive two at uh, just shy of 14 terabytes. Um, so we're obviously going to select this uh, 
approximate one terabyte drive. Next, okay, we have gotten to uh, or through the majority of the setup, and we are at loading some personal settings. So instead of using the express settings, I'm going to use custom settings. I'm just going to turn off all of this. Then after we uh, get the uh, working OS, we'll go into the uh, settings again and see how little these default settings actually do because of all of the uh, um, security features that that uh, Windows does not ask us about. I'll also show you how to turn off all that stuff. But that's going to be in a uh, in a second video, not this one. So as you saw, I turned everything off. And uh, we're continuing. And we have a working operating system. Okay, so let's take a look at this PC. Make sure we have our drives. Uh, we have our one terabit uh, operating system. That's our OS install. Uh, hopefully it'll be only a few minutes for me to figure this out. I remembered there is a setting for hard drives. Um, so what we'll do is go to my computer. Um, excuse me, uh, on Windows 10, they've renamed it to this computer, or PC. So we'll right-click and go to Manage. And under Manage, there is this Disk Management. We'll go ahead and blow that up full size. And what we want to do is activate that. For right now, I'm going to hit Cancel so that you can see. And we'll initialize the disk. And now when we come to this PC, it's not there yet. So we had to initialize it and now we'll do it as a new simple volume. Click next. We want it all. We want to assign it. I want to assign it as the D drive. But well, right now this drive here is in there. So I'm going to eject that drive. I'm back up here, new simple volume, next, next, we can now see that it's D, next, we'll just call it storage, if I can spell, and finish. So now when we come over here, we can see we have a D named storage. I'm actually going to rename this local to be OS. Well, thanks for watching this, uh, this tutorial. I'll have links and whatnot at the bottom. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, uh, comment. It really helps me out a lot. Let's me know I'm doing a good job. Thanks a lot. Bye now.